What is up guys, this is Tommy Lev from Platinum Gaming and today I'm going to be showing you how to install mods in Minecraft. So uh, I uninstalled Minecraft so I'm going to run it again. I'm going to put in my username and password here and it should update you know because this is a fresh install So we're going to download that. Well, that does that. Let's let's go to Minecraft forms. So Minecraft.net. You can go to the form like you can just type it in, but I usually do this. So Minecraftform.net, and then let's go find a mod to install. Um, scroll down until you find mapping and modding, and then. You should get released mods. Now, if you get a mod that's for say is for 1.6.5, it will not work with the latest version. So you have, you cannot use mods like, oh, these are all updated. That's good. But if you have a 1.6.5 mod, it will not work with the latest version, which at the moment is 1.6.6. So let's get a mod. Let's get um da, da, da. Let's, <coughs> let's get nuke TNT mod. Now I'll show you different so usually on the forum thread it'll tell you if it is not compatible with other mods. So that's done updating. Let's make a new world. Um wow. Okay. TNT one. Whoa. TNT mod version one point seven. Let's get this from Mediafire, just wherever the download link is, just get it. So this is the nuke TNT. Solely for map destruction does not spawn blocks. Minor TNT, firebomb, and napalm. That's what this mod does. So let's download it. Save it. Also, you can see that these mods are in a .rar extension. So they're compressed in a rar, a rar extension. <coughs> so you're going to have to get one rar. WinRAR. So just Google, Google search WinRAR. I'm gonna do that now if I must it on freezes. I'm rendering a video at the moment. Okay, so let's Google WinRAR. And click on this link here. It's called rarlab.com. Click on downloads and then pick whatever. Whatever suits your system. So this would be mine. One wire by 64 bit. Version 4.0. Version 4.0. 4.01. So you just download that and install it. I, I already have it installed. You might have to restart your system. So TNT mod. So we got it here. So when we're installed, it gives you the option to extract the files. So I'm going to extract it to the folder TNT mod 1.7. So we scroll up, we should get it here, and I'm going to bring this to my desktop. Okay, inside this, this might look a bit overwhelming at the start. I'm just going to look at this. Okay, so let's look at the installation just in case there's something different we need to do okay so here it says move all the doc class files now doc class files are all of these files here see class file class file so it wants I mean he or she wants us to move these files into the minecraft game 
I'll just say it like that. And the TNT mod folder, which is this folder here, to the Minecraft.jar folder. Okay. Huh. So he wants us to put it into the dot jar, but then the folder. Okay. Okay, now if we look up here it says requires mod loader. So we're gonna need mod loader before we do any of this. Most mods depend on mod load. <sighs> wow, I'm really mixing up my words. Okay, so usually there's a link on the thread to mod loader, but Okay, so we don't have mod loader. Um, as you can see here, requires mod loader to work. Install mod loader first, then install this mod. Just make sure you look at the requirements of the mod because if you don't do this right, then it usually will mess up. So I think Ris Risugumi's mods. He has mod loader. And mod loader beta beta 1.6.6. I'm just gonna click on direct download. So I'm going to save that. The dot zip, your windows should be able to open this without needing WinRAR. But WinRAR will do that too for you. Again, my computer freezes. Okay, here we go. So, here it is. I'm going to right click if it unfreezes anytime soon. Open containing folder. I'm now going to extract it to mod loader just like we did with the last mod. We scroll up, we should get the folder mod loader. So I'm gonna copy this to my desktop just to make it a bit more visible so it's easier to see. So here's the folder mod loader. And inside are all these class files. Now, what you want to do is <sighs> I really shouldn't have rendered the video when I was making this, but anyway, we'll get through this. If it unfreezes, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. You know, what, I'm gonna cancel this just for this video. I'm gonna cancel the rendering of a video. You know? Okay. We should be going. There. We should be. Okay. Now we have all of these class files that like I explained before. See, now this is mod loader itself. Now, um, Windows 7, hold on. You can either type percentage symbol app data, percentage symbol, and it'll open up this folder for you. You see, you have your dot Minecraft uh, folder there. Or you can go to. Mm -mm, where is this now? Okay, so you want to go control panel. This, this is for Win 7. It might differ on different um, OS, whatever, um, XP, Vista, whatever it is, it might change. So I'm going into appearance and personalization, folder options. Now I'm going to go over to view, and down here it says hidden files and folders. Now it says don't show hidden files, folders, or show hidden files. Now I'm going to click show hidden files. Now I've already done this, so that's how it would be if you have if you haven't done this already. You just click on that and then you press apply. Press okay, and you just exit out of that. Now keep your mod loader there. Go to um Oh my gosh, my name. Oh, my gosh. Uh and then you have app data here. See this? App data. Um this is a hidden folder, but we just like we did we um, show hidden folder, so we're gonna go into this. Then we're gonna click on roaming. So I went from your name, whatever it is, you open your personal folder, then go to app data, then go to roaming, and go to dot Minecraft. Minecraft. Now, this is a fresh install of Minecraft. This is what it's gonna look like. You've got new install of Minecraft here. I'm just gonna exit out of that. So make sure your Minecraft is closed when you're doing that. So doing this. So I'm going to close my Minecraft. I'm going to go to bin and here we have Minecraft. This is Minecraft. So right click it and you'll get these options. So you're going to open with WinRAR. Another reason why you need WinRAR is to look inside 
Minecraft. And let this load. Yeah, why am I getting so much lag? Hmm. Ooh, I'm uploading a video too. Nice. Yeah. Look how productive I am. Anyway. Now, this is all of the files inside my Minecraft. <coughs> so here we have mod loader. So I'm going to first delete meta inf. Now if you don't delete this, your mods are not going to work. So I'm going to right click. Now I'm actually just going to highlight it and I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard. Actually you want to delete, yes. So it's done that. Wait, wait, before we do this, I should have mentioned this before. Make a new folder inside your bin or wherever you prefer. Uh, no, cancel. Okay, new folder and we're going to name it backup. And I fail at typing. 